Good evening. It is with great pride that I welcome you to tonight's eighth grade graduation from the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School. It has certainly been a challenging year and these students have risen above all those challenges to make it a great year. This is the first time we've ever had to conduct our graduation ceremony over Zoom. So we hope that it goes as smoothly as we plan and we ask you excuse any glitches along the way. Please remain on mute throughout the entire ceremony. We'll let you know when to unmute so that you can wish the graduates mazel tov. Our theme for tonight is when life gives you lemons. As you listen to these students, you will hear that every one of them has made their own version of lemonade. Tov and Shalom to our guests, family, friends, faculty, as well as our graduates of the 2020 Martin J. Gottlieb Day School class. So to Michal and Masha, to Lily and Jacob, to Mark, Sam, Madeline, uh, Jacob M, to Adalia, George, to Aiden, Eliana, to Evan, and to Talia, Mazal Tov. I remember when many of you were born and it's rather strange to to watch you having reached this moment in cap and gown when just with the blink of an eye the other day you were small and you were babies it is the miracle of time and what happens in the blink of an eye no one could have envisioned a few months ago that we'd be having a virtual graduation. Sometimes life holds surprises. But through this difficult period, all of you have shown a capacity for resilience and perseverance, for adapting and being strong. This will pass. And when it does, all of the benefits of this experience of learning about your own ability to cope and to transcend will stand you in good stead. In difficult moments, people who pray for courage, for strength, and for the gratitude to always remember what they have and the gifts that are theirs rather than the things that they don't have, well, those prayers are often answered we discover that we possess more strength, more courage, and more gratitude than we ever knew that we could possibly have. One of my favorite sayings in the world is that of Rabbi Nachman of Bratzlav, a great storyteller, a wonderful teacher, who said more than 200 years ago, Im ma'amin she'echolin lekalkel, if you believe something can get broken, believe also that it can be fixed. And so today, we send you out into the world as repair men and repair women. To help fix and repair this world so that it may be worthy of God's sovereignty. The tools that you have in your kit are the ones that you've received from our faculty, 
from the Torah that you've studied, the gift of chesed, the gift of remembering every person is created in God's image, the gift of Torah and of knowing that you are a part of an ancient people who have given so much to this world. This is my prayer for you that on this day, as you cross the threshold between here and there, wherever there may be, between now and someday, between the present and future, I pray that all the gifts hidden deep inside you find their way into the world. May all the kindnesses of which I know you are capable be expressed in your deeds. May your learning lead you to wisdom and your efforts to success. May you always hold your head up proudly as a member of Am Yisrael, the Jewish people whose Torah and whose future you now hold in your hands. May our traditions, teachings guide, comfort, and reassure you. May God bless your bodies with health and your souls with joy. May your Creator watch over you night and day and protect you from harm. Whenever we finish reading from a book of Torah, we chant the phrase, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. May what we've just read make us stronger, and may we strengthen each other. And so to each of you, I say, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. May you find strength in each other, in yourselves, and in God's Torah. And now, I am pleased to present the graduates of the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School. My name is Evan Wolpoff. Next year, I will be attending the Bowl School for high school. The theme of our graduation is when life gives you lemons. I thought about this for a while and realized that thankfully, life has given me very few lemons. I sense most of us have only had a few lemons in our life. I look back at what's going on in the world even before COVID-19, and I realize how privileged we are. We've always had a meal on our table. We've always had clothes to put on. Right now, there are people who don't know how they're going to learn because they can't afford a device, how they can eat without their parents making money. We didn't even need to think about how we were going to participate in school or how we would eat. Things have always been easy for us. Unfortunately, most of us have not had to struggle for anything. We've had a good education here at the Martin J. Gally Bay School. We have teachers that care for us and classmates who look out for each other. Most of us have been together since preschool and that has made our experience even more special. We've always had the tools to make lemonade, but we have never had to use them. I know in the future that life will bring us more lemons because if everything came easy to us, then we're not really living. We've learned a lot from the school, but I think the most important thing is how to solve problems and deal with unexpected challenges. We know how to make lemonade, and that's the most important skill anyone can have. From the words of Oscar Wilde, behind every exquisite thing that existed, there was something tragic. The world is full of tragedy, full of lemons. The exquisite thing that Wilde mentions are the lemonade. We cannot live without pain, but the skills that, with the skills that we have learned here at the Martin J. Gallup Day School, we can push through the pain. I appreciate what I have learned at how I have grown at the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, and I am thankful to enter my next chapter with a strong sense of vision and understanding. Hi, I'm Eliana. I started attending the schools at the Jacksonville Jewish Center when I was four years old. Next year, I will be attending Creekside High School. I've been here for almost as long as I can remember, and it surprises me how much the school has changed in the amount of time I've been here. Each year, the school board did something new to change the school for the better whether it was painting the walls, moving classes, remodeling bathrooms, etc. It has made me realize that when I think of the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, I don't only think of things like school. I think of a community of amazing people. The name of our school also means a lot. I think about how our school used to be called the Solomon Schechter Day School, and then it was changed. It became the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, a Solomon Schechter school. Solomon Schechter was a Jewish scholar, a rabbi, and a teacher. Martin Gottlieb was a son and a father. He served our country and actively supported our synagogue in addition to being a graduate of our school. What better role models for the students of the day school than the men who are behind these two names? Our school has two names, just like I do. I was born with the name Eliana Michelle. My great grandma's name was Esther Malka, and just like her, my initials are EM. When I was in first grade, I had a naming and got a Hebrew name, Esther. When life gives you lemons and you have to stay home, you have time to think a lot. During the time at home, I've had the chance to be thinking a lot about my name. 
I have two names, Eliana and Esther, but these names represent me in different ways. The name Eliana means God answered. My parents wanted a baby and they got me. They chose the, my name because they wanted to name me after my great grandma. They chose this as my English name to keep her initials, but at the same time to reflect how grateful they were that they had continued to have faith in God. Through my years at the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, I have learned many different things about prayer and about God. I have learned to have faith in God and take great pride in my Jewish roots and beliefs. My Hebrew name is Esther, after my great grandma. While I never met her, I have heard many stories about her and know what she's in, that she was an amazing person. I am very grateful that I am named after her. Esther in the Megillah was often quiet and kept her thoughts to herself. But when it became important for the survival of the Jewish people, she conquered her fears and bravely spoke up. I relate a lot to Esther because sometimes I tend to keep my thoughts and feelings to myself. But when I see something is wrong, I feel an obligation to speak up and make things right. Just like the two names of our school represent what the school stands for, important role models from different generations, my two names represent the different sides of me. They stand for me, the young woman who, with her education here, has developed a deep faith in God and a commitment to speak up for what's right. It's the friends we meet along the way that help us appreciate the journey. This quote definitely applies to our class. Some of us have been together since we were little, and some of us have met this year, but eighth grade is definitely a journey, and we've all been on it together. My name is Madeline Milrod, and next year I will be attending the ACE program at Mandarin High School. I have been at the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School since I was three, and I have made bonds with my classmates that I know will last a lifetime. Since I've been at the school for over 10 years, I remember a lot of people coming and going, even up until this year. Being in such a small school, you make very strong connections. It's really special to be in such a close-knit class because while there aren't as many people, you're able to become closer with everyone quickly. New students joined us this year, but they fit right in and it feels like we've all been together forever. That's one of the things I love about this school. It's very welcoming and it feels like my second home. Whenever we would hear that a new person would be joining our class, we would all be super excited and we couldn't wait to make them feel at home. We've made a lot of memories from Shuby Dewey Shabbat's in preschool to retreat and mitzvah trips in middle school. I've loved all the long bus rides and volunteering at various places with my classmates. Our class always has fun together, even though we can be a bit too loud at times. It's been hard not being able to see each other for these past couple months before going off to high school where many of us will be going to different schools. This pandemic has been dif difficult for the whole world and provided a lot of challenges, but it's especially sad that we had our last day of school together without even knowing it. So many events this year had to be canceled, such as our 8th grade New York trip and in-person graduation. Even though this has been disappointing, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade, and the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School has taught me to always make the best of a situation and to be grateful. I hope that when this is all over, we can get back together as a class again. I will always cherish the memories I have made here at the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School. Good evening, and hello to all my friends and family that are here today. I would like to share a quote that applies to our lives at the current moment. If I am to meet with a disappointment, the sooner I know it, the more of life I shall have to wear it out. Thomas Jefferson. My name is Jacob Gross, and next year I will be attending the ACE program at Mandarin High School. This year we have had a lot of disappointments, such as the New York trip getting canceled and not being able to have our graduation in person. Even though we are all excited about these things, there are more important things, such as our health and safety, which we should be thankful for. There are people on the front lines who are risking their lives and helping us right now. For example, doctors and nurses tending to thousands of patients with this deadly disease, and the store workers who are helping us get all of our essential needs. We need to look at the situation in a positive way and not dwell on the bad. Having all of this time to reflect has given me the time to remember all of the great memories we've had together in school. Over the years at MJGDS, I have had a lot of memorable experiences. All the field trips that we went on were always very great, but specifically, I remember one where we went to Sally Robotics downtown, and it was awesome. We got to see all of the cool things that they were making. In middle school, we also had our annual retreat with all three grades in middle school. We would bond together outside of school and experience exciting activities together that we wouldn't normally do in a school environment. 
All of the mitzvah trips that we had done throughout my years in the middle school have been great experiences. My favorite mitzvah trip was Thanksgiving deliveries. This was my favorite because Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays. And it made me feel good knowing that people who couldn't, couldn't afford to have Thanksgiving get to celebrate. Another mitzvah trip I appreciated was Shabbat in a bag. For this mitzvah, we had put all the Shabbat essentials in a bag so people we would deliver to could have a nice Shabbat. Now I'd like to do some thank yous. Thank you to my teachers because not only have I learned all about academics, but I have also learned important life lessons. I would also like to thank my Jewish studies teachers for helping me grow closer to my Jewish religion. I really enjoyed being with all of my friends all day, every day. It made, it made my school experience very fun. Without all, of my, without all of my friends, I wouldn't have enjoyed my time nearly as much. Most importantly, I would like to thank my family. I would like to thank my sisters for being my best friends. I would also like to thank my parents and grandparents for everything they have done for me and putting me in a position to succeed. I love you guys so much. Hi, my name is Talia Zagagi, and next year I will be attending Wilson High School. Anyone who knows me can tell you that I love to read. And when life gives you lemons, or a quarantine, you have a lot more time to read. Reading is interesting. It exposes me to different things, and to be honest, it's a great escape from other, more annoying things in life. I will read anything, but my favorite genres are adventure and historical fiction. I feel like I learned so much about the world and how we got where we are when I read historical fiction. Another thing that's great about reading is that it allows me to expand my vocabulary. Many people have told me that I speak like an old college professor because of the word bank I've absorbed from all my reading. Believe it or not, when I run into a word that I don't recognize, I stop and look it up. It sounds tedious, but actually it makes the whole experience that much more satisfying. Don't give me too much credit though. I may know how to spell those complex words, but I still get stuck on some of the more simple ones. Reading also allows me to connect with people. In fact, most of my out-of-school friends are people that who, whom I have connected with through reading. I meet fellow readers at camp, and it helps me make connections with them. There are only two downsides to my love of reading. One is, let's face it, who wants to do homework when they are right at the exciting part of their book? I have had to learn to develop study skills to so either I get to read and complete schoolwork and household chores. The other issue is that sometimes I am so immersed in my book that I forget to talk to people around me. I am fortunate to have really good friends here at school and outside of school who remind me to put my book away and be with them. I have been a student at the Glensky Academy since I was one and a half years old. One of my favorite things when moving into a new class was seeing the classroom library. Even before I checked out the books, just seeing them there made me feel at home. Every teacher I've ever had has emphasized the importance of reading. As a Jewish day school, we have learned to embrace our title as the people of the book. I am certainly proud of my heritage as a member of the Jewish people, and I am proud to be a person of the books. You can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pockets. Hi, my name is George Tetzer, and next year I'll be attending the IB program at Wolfson High School. Fellow 8th graders, as we go on, we remember all the times we spent together. As our lives change from this point, we will still be friends forever. This year has been a crazy year with the coronavirus ruining many things, one of which was this graduation in real life and not on the screen. But what I've learned from being at this school in this environment is that we can always look for the silver lining even in situations like this one. For example, I have connected better with my family and neighbors by spending more time with them since we're all stuck at home. I got to play with my neighbors, maybe it was six feet apart, but I still had time to spend with them. My family and I got to watch a ton of movies together and we had a great bonding time. Being in school has taught me so much and has shaped me into the person I am today. It has reinforced the examples my parents and grandparents have set for me and helped develop my own thoughts about being helpful in my community and putting forth your best effort into everything. One of the most important lessons I have learned is the importance of being true to myself. It is not always easy to resist joining with my friends if they're doing something I don't like or want to do. I have learned though that if I'm consistent and always treat people the way I believe they should be treated, my friends respect me for it. My teachers have been an amazing help through my school years and have gone over the top to help me through certain projects and assignments. I'm going to miss their kindness and sweetness as I head off to high school. In this lockdown, the coronavirus has thrown many sour lemons at me, but I have tried to make the sweetest lemonade out of them. 
One of the greatest gifts I have to give is my smile. Someone once said, don't let the world change your smile, change the world with your smile. I feel that a smile brightens people's day. If I can do that for them, they hopefully can pay it forward to someone else. In this way, we can make the world a happier, better place. Thank you all for sharing my smile in this special moment with our class. Hi, I'm Aiden Smolensky, and next year I will be attending Wolfson High School. In Pier K. Avot, Ethics of Our Fathers, it says, Acquire yourself a friend. For some people, finding friends or making them can be a challenging and nerve-wracking experience. Before this school year started, I didn't know what to expect. I knew that I was going to be starting at Martin J. Gottlieb in 8th grade, where most of the students had known each other since preschool. I had known that I missed years of inside jokes, experiences, and friendship. I was bracing for the worst, worried that it would be hard for me to make some really good friends. But by the first week of school, everyone had really welcomed me in as part of the class. I realized after that I had never had a reason to be concerned in the first place. Some of the best memories I have are from this past school year, and I am so happy I was able to make them with all of you. It felt like everyone had embraced me, and I felt part of the Martin J. Gottlieb family right away. It didn't take very long for the term classmates to become the term friends. It's been great having people to hang out with inside and outside of school and to always be there to talk. I'm so privileged to be able to call all of my peers good friends of mine. You've all been there for me when I needed it and I feel so grateful that I was able to become so close with everyone. Friendship is something that I really cherish and hold on tight to because friends are the people who stay with you even if distance or hardships be come between you. They understand and can relate to you, and you know you can tell them anything and they will listen. And even though all of us are going our separate ways next year, I know that I can still count on everyone and know you will be there if I need you. I have learned that this year because when life gives me lemons in the form of coronavirus, I got even closer to these friends. It has been so amazing getting to know everyone at Martin J. Gottlieb, kids, teachers, and staff over the course of this past year. I've met some truly incredible people and I wouldn't know what to do without. Everyone has been so supportive and helpful with everything, getting adjusted in a new school, making sure the work was okay, and checking up on me regularly to see if I was doing well. The memories, friends, and experiences I created this past year are always going to be remembered and treasured. From sitting in class and talking to leaving school for mitzvah trips, I, really, I enjoyed it all. I really want to thank all my teachers for making this year so incredible and always being there to help me when I needed it. And a thank you to the friends I made this year for being some of the most amazing people I know and always being there for me. If I learned one thing this past year, it was that the friends you make are the ones you need to keep close by. When life throws challenges your way, it can often be easy to feel overwhelmed and defeated. When you're surrounded by amazing and supportive people, however, you can just easily turn these life challenges into opportunities for positive growth. My name is Mark Broombaum, and next year I'll be attending Ponte Vedra High for high school. Although I came into the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School as a seventh grader, I had previously studied in a Jewish school in Connecticut for my entire life. Since I was three years old, my parents have made tremendous sacrifices to give me a Jewish education and to instill in me strong Jewish values. This has always been their dream for me and my siblings, even before I was born. When my family moved to this area last year, I was faced with several new challenges they had never experienced. For the first time since I was three years old, I was standing in a new city, in a different building, with new teachers, hard classes, and among students who had known each other for their entire lives. I quickly learned, though, how fortunate I was to have wonderful new friends and teachers who helped me get used to all of the work. In addition to my amazing parents who continue to support me at every step of the way, my experiences remind me every day how lucky I was to have such a wonderful family, friends, and teachers in my life who all cared about me and want what is best for me. They have all made amazing sacrifices to give me a good education and to make my transition to the school seem seamless. What could have been a scary experience for me turned out to instead to be an amazing opportunity to grow and excel. Moving to a new school as a seventh grader wasn't easy, but it helped me to get ready for high school next year because I already know the ins and outs of going to the different school and I'm ready for the challenges that are coming up ahead. The work in the school has been challenging, but has also given me several great new experiences. The mitzvah trips are great. I got to shop for and deliver food to families in need, visit seniors, mentor preschoolers, and work with children with disabilities. 
Last year, I went on a retreat where we in kosher restaurants, volunteered to work with children with terminal illnesses, rode on a zip line, and conquered an escape room. These are all experiences that opened my eyes to all the things that I can do to observe Jewish life and make a difference in the world around me. Besides my amazing parents, teachers, and friends, I would also like to thank my siblings, David, Zachary, Hannah, and the rest of my family for their amazing love and support. My name is Lily Davis. Next year, I will be attending the ACE program at Mandarin High School. I've been a student at both the Dubo Preschool and Martin J. Gottlieb Day School for 13 years. During my many years at school, I have learned numerous valuable life lessons about how to stay positive, help others, try my best, and most of all, be a leader. Ever since I was in preschool participating in Shuby Dooby Shabbat, I remember being overjoyed when it was my turn to be an Ema. My teachers over the years have taught me to utilize and sometimes lower my voice. I have especially enjoyed spending my time performing mitzvot every Friday. The mitzvah program is a unique experience that I am so grateful to have been a part of. Once a week, the middle school goes out and performs a mitzvah that assists those in our community who are in need. One particular mitzvah trip that I enjoyed was volunteering at Give Kids the World Village near Orlando. Give Kids the World Village is an 84-acre nonprofit resort in Central Florida that provides week-long, cost-free vacations to children with critical illnesses and their families. I love spending time with the children and their families there, and I feel so lucky to have volunteered there two times. Experiences like these have made me feel so fortunate to be able to help those who need it. I would like to give a huge thank you to all of my teachers who have helped me grow as a learner and to all of my friends who have made me laugh, cheered me up, and supported me. The lessons and skills I have learned from all of my teachers will stay with me. One of these lessons is to stay positive and focus on the good in every situation. This skill has helped me focus on my learning while still staying happy in these hard times. Again, thank you so much for all you have done. Hi, my name is Adalia, and next year I'll be attending Tour Academy for high school. I joined Martin J. Gottlieb Day School in eighth grade, which you might think would be very hard doing, joining a class of students who have known each other their whole life. However, I found that the students and the teachers were very welcoming starting with my very first day. I decided to join the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School because I found that the community was so kind and loving, but also it seemed like a great school academically and physically. I didn't know any of the teachers, students, and so forth, but gradually everything became normal and I began to feel part of the tight-knit family here at the center. It took me no time to learn my way around and find comfort with the teachers and students. The teachers were all extremely understanding, helpful, and kind. Now to my fellow comrades. I had such a fun year with you guys, even though it was cut short due to the coronavirus. One special memory that I'll never forget is when Ellie, Talia, Mosh, and I dressed up as different kinds of soda for the Purim party, and we won. Overall, it has been a great experience at the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, and I will and I will always have a special place in my heart. I feel that I have grown this year in so many ways. I feel that I can handle unexpected challenges, adjust to new situations, and be an independent thinker. The Martin J. Gottlieb Day School has helped me to prepare for my next journey in high school, and I owe a big thank you to all my teachers and my classmates. As you may know, the theme for our graduation is, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Well, right now, life has given us a lime. We've never had a lime, we've never lived through a pandemic, it's all new to us. My name is Sam Kaplan, and I will be attending Wolfson High School. Sadly, today marks the end of my time at the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School. I've been at this school for eight years, and I wouldn't want to be at any other school with any other class. I think the main thing that made this class so special is how close we all are. It feels like we never run out of things to talk about. Now, the reason I say are and not were is because while our time as a class is over, our time as a friend group is definitely not. Another reason this school is so special is because the teachers make finding your Jewish identity really easy. If I had been at any other school, religious or not, I don't think I would have as much of a personal view of Judaism as I do today. The teachers really made it easy to have your own personal view on Judaism, views of God, the Torah, and Jewish law. Another thing about the teachers that I really admire is that they're always willing to listen to you, whether it's on the topic of school or anything outside of school. It never felt like they were your teachers. It always felt like they were your friends. Whether you were stressed out or as happy as you could be, they were always there for you. Thank you for that. 
Speaking of saying thank you, I want to thank my family, specifically the two most important people in my life, my parents. Not only have they somehow put up with me for 14 years, but they've helped me along every single step of the way. I love you guys and thank you. I mean, I love you more than anything. I also want to thank my brothers, Levi and Matthew, for being the best two brothers I could ask for. No matter how many times I will annoy you guys, I love you too so much. I also want to thank my classmates. Thank you for always making me laugh, being there for me when I'm down, and just being the best group of friends I could ever ask for. As I said earlier, this may be the end of our time as a class, but I can confidently say this isn't the end of our time as friends. Thank you. When life gives you lemons, you try to make the best of it. Truthfully, I had a pretty big lemon in the form of a brain tumor in my life. Some people would have become pretty bitter as a result. I chose to make lemonade instead. My name is Mikhail Babajanov, and the next year, I will be attending Tar Academy for high school. To be honest, for many people, for many years, I thought I would never like school, be smart, or make good friends. Well, my view changed after I started 7th grade here at the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School because it felt like I could be the one me there. I know that I don't always respond like other kids do. Sometimes I laugh when others expect me to cry. Others, other times I give really serious answers to what others think are jokes. But here at this school, the teachers listened to me when I needed them to, and the staff became my friends. They were all nice and funny. They appreciated me for who I am and helped my classmates do the same. I loved the Martin J. Gottlieb Bay School, not only because of its staff and teachers, but also because of my classmates. They make me laugh like a crazy person, smile like a Cheshire cat, and so much more. My only regret is the wish to have met all of them sooner rather than later. As a student at the Martin J. Gottlieb Bay School, I was able to have experiences that I never imagined I would have. After my brain tumor was removed, it was a long recovery, and there were many activities I didn't know I would ever be able to do because the staff here in Martin J. Gottlieb Day School was so amazing. My parents allowed me to go on a retreat, me away from home, out of town with my friends. I never thought that would be able, to, you know, to happen. I never thought I'd be able to go on a zip line. But with the encouragement of my friends, I did it. You might ask, if she has such a hard time, why does she smile so much? The answer is simple. Life can be hard, but not every single day I know that Hashem has blessed me. I have loving parents, an older sister, a school that has helped me grow confident, and I am proud of myself. I smile because I can. I have been going to the Galinsky Academy since I was two and a half years old. I learned how to speak Hebrew, read the Torah, and learn about the meat smoked. I have also learned a lot about math, science, history, and language arts. Well, math, science, history are important subjects to learn. My, for my family, the Hebrew, Torah, and the meat smoked are the reasons that I've been going to school all these years. My mother, uncles, and cousins have graduated from the Martin J. Gottman Day School. I continue that tradition, and my younger brothers are following me. For me, the connections to Jewish life, customs, and the tradition are an important part of what makes this school really special. Tomorrow night, we will begin celebrating the holiday of Shavuot. Our Shavuot, we will read the Asirat Hadi wrote the Ten Commandments. My Papa Eddie, a blessed memory, 
believe that every single Jewish child should memorize and live by the Ten Commandments. In fact, he had me start learning the Ten Commandments as soon as I could walk, talk. For me, the mitzvah of remembering and honoring the Shabbat is probably the most important one. And when I excuse the lemons and the stones of the Shabbat, my family is still good together. Online, things just in the Shabbat with Kiddush and Motsi. We sell Shabbat dinner, even though we can't leave anyone else. We have a special tradition during these times, and we have been eating Shabbat dinner outside. It is really nice, and maybe when this quarantine is over, you will still be able to do it. Of the many lessons I've learned, in school. One of the most important is how to be a better person and how to follow the teachings of Hilo who said, to love your neighbor as myself. Most of my classmates and I have been together since we were really young. We have one how to unite despite our differences. For example, there was someone new came to our class. We would welcome them. We would welcome them as our classmates. I am thankful for all my teachers. Every teacher I have had has wanted to help me learn and become a stronger person. I am really sad to say goodbye to this school because the people that make up this school have influenced the person I am today. I will always remember the Ten Commandments and my Jewish heritage. Everything I do and always try to do my best Approaching my neighbor of kindness and respect. When life gives you lemons, you find your voice. My name is Masha B. Spir, and next year I'll be attending Douglas Anderson for high school. I grew up being extremely shy. I would only talk to my very close family and a little bit in school. Even to this day, when I meet new relatives or other adults, I stay in my room, stand behind my parents, or just look down at the ground and not talk. It's just easier sometimes to not say anything and stay quiet. For me, an escape from everything is drawing. This way, it is easier to be able to freely express myself without needing to talk. When I draw, it's kind of an escape from the real world. I adore art in school because I hate silence, even though I am often silent. When a drawing in school, it gives me the opportunity to just listen and focus on what is in front of me instead of needing to keep up a conversation. Somewhere along the way, I realized that while silence is golden, it's not always for the best. As I've grown, I have become closer with my classmates and teachers. While I don't often stand up for myself, I have learned that it's not healthy to always be silent. Sometimes you have to speak up for yourself and what matters to you. You can't always depend on others to do it for you. One of the lessons I have learned at the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School is that it is important to stand up for others. I have found that it may be hard to speak for yourself, but I can use my voice to support others. When life gave me lemons, I had time to discover I have two strings and they are both important parts of me. I am able to stand up for others and myself. Sometimes I am able to be silent and express myself through art. Other times words are more powerful. And sometimes the combination of the two is the perfect way of expressing my thoughts and what's important to me. As I hope that as I continue to study art next year at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts, I will always remember the lessons learned here at the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School about the importance of using my voice and our talents to express ourselves our relationship with God, and to stand up to support others. Wow, that was amazing. Thank you, graduates, for sharing those profound words with us this evening. We are all so very proud of you. And I know you brought me to tears, so I'm sure you brought everyone else who is listening and has joined us this evening. Each year at our graduation, we choose an alumni from the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School who is graduating high school 
to share an inspirational message to our eighth grade graduates. It's really hard for me to believe that this year's special guest graduated just four years ago from the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School. I am beyond proud and honored to introduce our guest speaker, Jamie Bielski, who will be attending the University of Florida this fall. Congratulations to you all. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jamie Bielski. I just graduated from Creekside High School and I will be starting at the University of Florida in the fall. It was hard for me as I was writing this speech not to reminisce on this very day for myself, my eighth grade graduation. I was full of excitement for what was to come. I was eager to begin my high school career at a big school full of new opportunities for involvement, friendship, and growth. I am sure many of you today share the same feeling. These next four years will be amazing and exciting, but most of all, totally and completely yours to make for yourself. With that said, I want to share some lessons I've learned in the past four years that will hopefully guide you toward success. When I left the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, I was grateful for my experience, but excited to run off and not look back. I was eager to make totally new friends and involve myself in new organizations. You may all be thinking, isn't this the girl who tried to persuade me into joining Kadima and only posts pictures of her and her old Martin J. Gottlieb Day School friends on her Instagram? And to that I say, yep, that's me. Learn from my, na from my initial naiveness and don't make the same mistake of leaving with the mindset of never returning. This building, these people, and the knowledge you have acquired here will be a strong constant in your life and will bring you an enormous sense of security. Throughout my four years of high school, the most consistent friends have come from here. The people that, in a perfect world, would be sitting next to you in the sanctuary right now are the people who will always have your back. Never forget that. With that said, though you will always have your friends and mentors from the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School, I highly encourage you to branch out and get involved in your new environment. Try out for a sport you've never previously played. Join that cool club that seems interesting. Don't see a particular club you had your mindset on joining? Start one of your own. The more you branch out, the easier your transition will be. I took this advice that somebody gave me in eighth grade, and having never run before, I joined the track and field team freshman year. I was nervous and frankly, really bad at running, but I made the team. I not only had a good workout every day, but also made some new great friends and memories. Another piece of advice I have for you is to be unapologetically you. Don't fall into the trap of trying to fit in and be like everybody else. You will find that where you do fit in will be with the people who accept you for all of your goofiness and quirks. Another part of you is your Judaism. I know how intimidating it is to leave the comfort of the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School and find yourself unsure of how others may or may not accept you for your Judaism. Anti-Semitism is scary and something I hope you never have to face firsthand. However, if you do, I strongly encourage you to speak up and be a leader. After four years of addressing and handling any issues I had with anti-Semitism, my friend overheard a kid at my school say, you can't say anything anti-Semitic around Jamie because she will call you out. I am proud that my effort and persistence has not gone unrecognized and has made an impact on at least one person. An impact that encourages this kid to think twice about what he says and recognize the magnitude of his words. Even if it is uncomfortable, be that person who speaks up and defends their religion. My mission has been to not let any ignorance stem from my place of education, and I highly encourage you to take that on wherever you are next year. While there may be some unpleasant things that come with being Jewish in a big school, there are many, many more incredible opportunities you have to look forward to. I have been an avid supporter and member of both the Kosher Food Club and Jewish Student Union at Creekside. Attending club meetings are the highlight of my weeks, but something I enjoy more is bringing my non-Jewish friends to meetings and teaching them all about what it is like to be Jewish. All of my friends are fascinated, supportive, and eager to learn more. With that said, you should also be eager to learn more. Your Judaism does not end when you leave this school. I encourage you to take on at least one Jewish thing during your high school career, whether it is being active in a Jewish club, becoming involved in USY, shameless plug, going to Ramah, another shameless plug, taking on an Israel internship, 
CITing at Camp Kitov, and or committing yourself to attending synagogue once a month. As many of you know, I chose many of these options, and I could not be more grateful for the experience this involvement has led me to have. One final piece of advice I would like to leave you with is this. Don't stop until you're proud. This is a cheesy quote that I found on Pinterest one day a few years ago, but is genuinely a phrase I remind myself of often and try my hardest to live by. If every product of your effort is something you are proud of, I promise that you will feel more accomplished and be more successful in your endeavors. So, Martin J. Gottlieb Day School Class of 2020, I hope over the next four years and throughout your lives, you remember your roots, find your people, get involved Jewishly, and don't stop until you're proud, all while being unapologetically you. Congratulations on your successful completion of middle school. I look forward to hearing all about your achievements and seeing you in person as soon as possible. Thank you and Mazel Tov. Jamie, thank you so much for those amazing words of wisdom. We just hope that this year's eighth graders take all of your words to heart. At this time, we will watch as Mrs. Teitelbaum presented the diplomas to the students. Dahlia Moyer! Yay. Aiden Smolensky! Eliana Tesler! I graduated! Evan Wolpoff! George Setzer! Jacob Gross! Woo. Jacob Morgenthal! Lily Davis, Madeline Milrod. Thank you. Mark Gruenbaum. Thank you. Masha Bezvir. Thank you. Michal Babajanov. Thank you. Yay. Sam Kaplan. <laughs> Talia Zagagi. I have the honor of presenting the Daughter of the American Revolution Youth Citizenship Award to a member of the graduating class. This award is for the student who best exemplifies the qualities of honor, service, courage, leadership, and patriotism. Our honoree this year demonstrates all of these qualities along with kindness, unselfishness, creativity, and faith. I am proud to present this award to Masha Bezerk. Masha, you will receive this certificate along with this medal and our thanks and gratitude for the example you have set as you quietly demonstrate how an individual can be true to themselves and lead the way for others at the same time. Mazal Tov. Traditionally, the eighth grade graduating class is a gift to the school. And at this time, we would invite the students to present the gift. 
Under these circumstances, the students have asked me to present their gift for them. The students have been creating a table covering made that builds on the theme in our Beit Tvila. The artwork done by Masha will be placed on the tablecloth and all of the students have signed their names. It will replace the white paper that currently covers that table and provide another element of beauty to the Beit Fila and in this way enhance our davening experience. At this time, we would like to thank some important people who've helped to make this evening even more special for our graduating class. Thank you to Brian Parkman, for highlighting all of our graduates on social media and creating the teacher video you will be seeing shortly. Thank you to Katrina Ruby for preparing each of their graduates their very own cake so they can have a celebration after tonight's ceremony with their families. And we would also like to thank the seventh grade families for purchasing the, purchasing the cakes for our eighth, grading, eighth graders and their families. Thank you to all of the staff and teachers at the Dubo Preschool and Martin J. Gottlieb Day School and Jacksonville Jewish Center, especially our middle school team, for helping our students reach this occasion successfully. Thank you to Nancy Davis for helping me to deliver the yard signs and the graduation packages for each student. And in addition, putting together the processional video, which I'm so sad that we had a glitch at the beginning of this um, ceremony this evening. And so the processional that she put together, maybe we can show you later. Um, and also for the diploma presentation that you just saw, she also put that together for us. So thank you, Nancy. Thank you to Howie Wolpoff for putting together an amazing slideshow presentation that you will get to enjoy at the end of this ceremony. And finally, a very big thank you and a huge shout out to Hazan Holzer for taking the extra time and effort um, to put all of these videos together and loop them and getting tonight's presentation together and um, really going above and beyond as he always does. We greatly appreciate you. And we appreciate everyone's effort in helping to make tonight's unique graduation a huge success. This is Maura Rachel saying shalom and kitachet. We will miss you. Congratulations, eighth grade class of 2020. Nothing can mask your accomplishments. Hi guys, I'm so proud of you. You did it. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2020. It seems like yesterday y'all were in my fifth grade class. I miss you and I love you. Congratulations eighth graders. You can survive online learning. You are absolutely ready for ninth grade. I wish you the best going into your respective schools and I hope to see you visit in the fall. Mazel tov, guys. We are so proud of you and we look forward to hearing great things about you in the future. Congratulations, eighth grade. I'm gonna miss you so much. Good luck in high school. Mazel tov, class of 2020. I love you. Congratulations, graduates. Please remember to always be you as you leave us to enter the next chapter of your school. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Mazel tov, we will miss you. Mazel tov, class of 2020, we miss you. To my first babies that may be a teacher, I'm so proud of you. Mazel tov on your graduation. You're going to do amazing things. Mwah. I wish the class of 2020 a big, big mazel tov and the best of the future, everything you want and desire. And we miss you. We all miss you. Congratulations to the graduates of Martin J. Gatley Day School. Sending you all warm regards and kind wishes from uh, Houston, Texas. Congrats again, mazel. 
from all your little friends in Pupper Room 3 will miss your smiling faces and hugs and all the best Mazel Tov. Mazel, class of 2020, you did it. Awesome job. Mazel Tov Lesiyum, Shiye Be'atzlacha, and don't ever forget Rosetta Stone. Congratulations, you guys. We miss you so much. We can't wait to have you visit in the future. Bye. Congratulations, eighth graders. I am so proud of you, and I know you will all do wonderful things and be so successful in high school. Love you all. Hey, fabulous eighth grade. Congratulations on your graduation. I'm so proud of you. Mazel tov. It has been such a pleasure watching all of you grow up in every way since we first met in kindergarten. You'll always be special to me in my heart. Mazel tov on your graduation. Congratulations, eighth graders. Class of 2020, we wish you the best. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020. We'll miss you. Mazel tov to the graduating class of the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School 2020. I'm so proud of all of you, and I can't wait to see what you do in the future. On behalf of Papa Reem 3, mazel tov to all of you 8th graders, rising freshmen. We wish you nothing but love and happiness in the future. Mazel tov to the class of 2020, wishing you much success, health, and happiness. But I want you to always remember what I told you, be your very best. Congratulations again. Much love. Arab Tov, good evening, everyone. Please stay tuned at the end of this prayer for a special slideshow presentation, which will officially conclude our graduation ceremony. To the Martin J. Gottlieb Day School graduating class of 2020, your families, teachers, and friends, the last few months have been different to say the least. You have faced many obstacles and handled each of them with grace. Things you've been looking forward to were canceled. And despite all of this, you made it to today. You should be very proud of yourselves. Rabbi Nachman of Bratzlav once taught, Kol haolam kulo gesher tsar me'od v'ha'ikar lo lefached klal. The entire world is a very narrow bridge. The most important thing is not to fear at all. This text reminds us that even when things seem scary or bleak, we must remember not to be afraid. Throughout history, our people have overcome countless challenges by holding on to the belief that God is always with us. Indeed, whenever we recite the Adon Olam prayer, we are reminded of this vital truth. Adonai li velo ira. The Lord is with me. I will not fear. With God by our side, there is nothing we cannot accomplish, no matter what hurdles we encounter along the way. It is my prayer for all of us that we never lose sight of this idea. Carry it with you wherever your life may take you, and know that with God you are never truly alone. Mazal Tov. <laughs> Shirin shana b'amechoni Ani nosea umadi Al maya umaniya Vach nafshi od homia Miyam tzada shel hazrichot Yerushalayim baslichot Mechof kineret v'achzi Miyam tzibot shel tel aviv אבי חלם והתפלל לחיות בארץ ישראל או היום ילדי אותי שואל מה הסיפור של ישראל? כאן זה בית, כאן זה לב ועוד אחד לא עוזב אבותינו שורשים ואנחנו הפרחים Thank <laughs> you. 
תמיד אמצא את מקומי. על הגיטרה מתנגד, ניגון עתיק שמחבר. and causes of success may you have the confidence to always do your best may you take no effort in your being generous sharing what you can nothing more nothing less may you know the meaning of the word happiness may you always lead from the beating in your chest may you be treated like an esteemed guest may you get to rest may you catch your breath or may the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows whoa or may the road last Well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break Here's to the lives that you're gonna change Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you I want you to have it Here's to the good times we're gonna have You don't need money, you got a free pass Here's to the fact that I'd be sad without you I want you to have it all Slap. 
that bracelet May you keep the chaos and the clutter off your desk May you have unquestionable health and less stress Having no possessions, no immeasurable wealth May you get a gold star on your next test May your educated guesses always be correct And may you win prizes shining like diamonds May you really own it each moment to the next Or May the best of your todays be the worst of your tomorrows Whoa. Or may the road less paved be the road that you follow Whoa. Well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break Here's to the lives that you're gonna change Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you you to have it all. Cause Mr. C is so pitted. Is it hard? Not now. I can divide and multiply. Is it hard? Not now. Write the drafts and tell you why. Is it hard? No way. Say my times and know what they are. Is it hard? No way. We will work on that phone. Break it down. Hasaka, hallelujah. Hasaka, hallelujah. Hasaka, hallelujah. Cause upstairs, I'm gonna give it to you. Cause upstairs, I'm gonna give it to you. Wait a minute. Plus my blood, puts the links in it. Take some time, look it up. George, make a stretch. Innovating right here in Jacksonville, baby. We scout people are gonna learn to better than a textbook, maybe. Dilly file, oh yeah. Call the teacher, that's Mr. C. Dilly file, that's right. We work independently. Is it hard? Not now. Teach it on and show you what I know. Is it hard? No way. Grab a book, read like crazy, break it down. Book no hallelujah. Book no hallelujah. Book no hallelujah. Cause upstairs, so I'm gonna give it to ya. Cause upstairs, so I'm gonna give it to ya. Cause upstairs, so I'm gonna give it to ya. Hold on tight, gonna learn a lot. Don't believe me, just why. Just why? Don't believe me. 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 Just why? Don't believe me.
Christmas. 